Hi guys, it's Ben Heath, and in this video, I want to talk about something that all successful Google advertisers do, and if you want to succeed with Google Ads, you need to do as well. Now, in order to explain how to set it up the right way, how to do it properly, I'm going to explain what most Google advertisers do instead, and then we'll sort of work our way through to that. So I'm sure if you've been advertising on Google for a while, you've had this experience where you've created a new campaign, you've launched it, you were all excited about it initially, you were in the ad account, checking, making adjustments the first few days after it goes live, and then let's assume that your Google Ad campaign does work, it's, it's profitable, or maybe not massively so, but it's working enough for you to keep it running. Over time, you check it less. You make less optimizations. You go, oh, we don't necessarily need to create new ads today. I'm sure they'll last another few weeks. And you just sort of leave it and, and that process carries on. And, and those campaigns sort of sit steady. Sometimes they drop off in terms of performance because other competitors come into the marketplace, but they certainly don't go ahead and improve. That's what a lot of Google advertisers do. And they are missing out on big potential upside by not continuing to check things, make adjustments, and optimize. So what I strongly recommend you do is to set a schedule, an optimization schedule, where you know you are going to be checking certain things within your Google Ad account, within your Google Ad campaigns, on a weekly, monthly, quarterly, etc. basis. So I'm gonna provide you now with an example schedule of things you want to check more or less frequently, and we can talk about how you'd adjust that for your specific circumstances after we've gone through that. Okay, so let's start with the things that you want to check and adjust most frequently. I would say every 48 to 72 hours, every two to three working days, you want to be going through your search terms report. Your search terms report shows all the search terms that caused your ads to be shown. You're likely to find a number in there that simply aren't appropriate, that you don't want to be bidding on, you don't want to be wasting money on. Those, it's very important that you add them to your negative keyword list. So check through your search terms report every two to three days, add any wrong searches, any searches that come up that you do not want your ads to be, to be shown for, and add those to your negative keyword list. You can also find longer tail keywords in your search terms report that you might actually want to add into your campaign, you think, I didn't include that as a keyword, but that would actually work really well. So that's something that we do very frequently every two to three days. Then let's move on to the things that you want to do every week. Firstly, I'd recommend that you analyze your keywords. Go through every keyword and take a look at performance. Take a look at performance from a cost per conversion standpoint, also a CTR standpoint, and a cost per click standpoint. The conversion rate, how many conversions you're actually getting from that keyword, and how much each of those conversions is costing, being by far your most important metric. Now you simply want to pause the underperformers. If you've got some that aren't performing anywhere near as well as others, get rid of those. You may or may not want to add in other keywords to test alongside the, the ones that you're keeping live. Um, if you went through your initial keyword research phase and, and had tons of keywords more than you initially put into your campaign, that would be a good time to test those out. But it's very important that you pause the ones that simply aren't performing as well. I would also recommend that you review your keyword match types. If you're finding that when you are checking your search terms report that a lot of searches are causing your ads to be shown that just aren't appropriate, then you may want to adjust your keyword match types down from say broad to phrase and exact, maybe using phrase and you're getting some issues so you wanna go down to exact. That's something we do on a weekly basis. I would also encourage you to review each one of your ads around about once a week. And we go through a similar process as we do with the keywords. Take a look through, pause the underperformers, and take a look at things like CTR, CPC, what's your cost per conversion on each ad and make adjustments accordingly. If you are pausing ads or taking out elements, let's say from within a responsive search ad that's not doing as well, you can absolutely add in other elements to test alongside those. We'd be more keen to do that when we would say necessarily with keywords. If we're taking stuff out of our ad mix, we nearly always want to be adding stuff back in. And we're going to do that roughly on a weekly basis. And the last thing to check weekly would be your budget. Are you spending enough? Are you generating enough lead sales for what your target was? Do you need to decrease Increase your budget. Perhaps there's just not the search volume or you're spending too much on each conversion. That sort of time frame is typically when we look at budget adjustments. Okay, so in a second, I'm gonna move on to the things that we analyze and adjust on a monthly basis. Before I do that, I just wanna quickly let you know about our done for you Google Ad services. So my company can create, manage, and optimize your Google Ad campaign. So if you're interested in finding out more, you can click on the link in the video description below. That'll take you to a page where you can book a call directly with one of my team members. We do have a 3K per month minimum budget requirement, so please only book a call if you meet that. But if you do, go ahead, book a call, no obligation, of course, and hopefully we get a chance to work together. Okay, so let's move on to the things that we would analyze and then adjust monthly. The first being, landing pages. Firstly, you just want to make sure that your landing pages are functioning correctly. Go ahead and fill out all the contact forms and things like that. Make sure everything works. We've checked a lot of Google Ad campaigns and seen that some part of the landing page isn't doing what it's supposed to do. That's going to result in a loss of leads, loss of sales, loss of conversions, not something that you want. And you can avoid that with a simple monthly check. You also want to take a look if you've been testing different landing pages, something that we recommend a lot, and you found that one variation is performing a lot better than the other. Perhaps you want to 
stop using the other one. Perhaps you then want to create a new version of a landing page to test. You can obviously do this with different softwares or you can sort of do this manually, but it's about the once a month timeframe in which we would be assessing landing page performance and then making adjustments. We would also review ad extensions monthly because ad extensions are shown much less frequently than ads and there's normally more different types when you add in all the various ad extensions that you want to set up within your Google ad campaigns. And we increase the time frame around which we assess these elements. So once a month's pretty good and you can take a look at, for example, which structured snippet is performing best and pause the end performance, potentially create new ones to test against the previous best performers. That's the typical process. And you'll see that that's a similar process we go through for a lot of different Google ad uh, campaign elements, whether it's ads, keywords, or in this case, ad extensions. Then moving on to every quarter, this is when we're going to be assessing the campaign settings. So things like demographics, age, gender, location. Are you seeing really strong concentrations in certain areas or, or certain types of people that are going ahead and taking the action you want to take? Maybe you want to double down and focus on those people more specifically. Do you need to set up or adjust your daily or weekly schedule? Are you seeing that a lot of conversion volume is coming through certain days of the week or certain times of the day? Again, you might want to adjust when your ads run, when your ads are shown according to that data. And then of course, bid strategy. A lot of Google advertisers will start with a maximize clicks bid strategy. You might want to change that to maximize conversions or maximize conversion value if you've got enough data in your ad account. There's something we will typically review around about once a quarter. So that's an outline of a Google Ads optimization schedule and there's a good chance you're going to want to adjust that and those timeframes according to your specific circumstances. Now, if you're generating a lot of conversion volume, then you're going to want to compress those time windows. If you're going in and checking things and finding that you've actually spent a lot of money on an underperforming ad or underperforming keywords and you could have gone ahead and paused those elements earlier, that's when you would want to compress all those time windows I talked about. But likewise, if you're not generating many conversions, then you might want to extend those time horizons. And if you're going into your Google Ad account and you're seeing that there's just not enough data yet to be able to make a call on whether a keyword has performed well or whether a certain element within an ad or an ad extension has performed well, because there's simply just not enough data yet, in those circumstances, you want to extend those time horizons. And you can do so quite significantly sometimes, again, depending on your conversion volume, which is going to partially be dictated by budget, but not always also your sort of average cost per conversion. But those are the main factors that go into those time horizons and you have to be flexible according to where you're at. Now, a problem a lot of Google advertisers have is that they are able to generate clicks, but not many of those people go on to convert. If you find that you've had that problem, I'd strongly recommend you check out this video. In it, I walk you through our exact process to fix that problem of generating clicks, but not generating conversions. It's not a long video, well worth a watch.